folks, Robbie here. I uh, made it over the border. Uh, probably about 40 questions from the border guard. And um, they didn't confiscate my guitar at all, which is great. So I'm going to Nashville. We're heading to uh, Johnny Cash's gravesite first. I'm going to go uh, pay my respects to the man in black. And then I'm going to head to uh, Nashville. I'm going to ask him for some advice. And June, of course, too. She's buried right beside him. So going to Hendersonville and then uh, from there I'll figure out where I'm going to sleep tonight. I might make the trek all the way to Nashville or I might uh, stop at a motel or something. Um, but yeah, looking forward to uh, to this trip and uh, my first meeting is on Monday with Eddie Schwartz so I need to be in Nashville at the coffee shop for uh, 4.30. Anyway, I'll check in uh, check in soon. I'm staying at the Nashville SoCan House, the Nashville House, and uh, it supports Canadian songwriters uh, coming down. So it's something you have to apply for, but it's a free stay uh, for the week. So that's where I'll be, and um, and then my week will go from there. I've got um, three or four mentor sessions booked. Got to sit down with Ralph Murphy, and um, I've also got a pitch to publisher through the NSAI, which I'll be spending a lot of time there this week. Uh, they are, it's a uh, NSAI, it's Nashville Songwriter Association International, and they are a big reason and great resource in why I'm here. Um, so I've got four writer's rooms booked this week from 10 to 1, 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. And then I have mentoring sessions and meetings after that. And then throughout the week, I'll be going to writer's nights and open mics. And then I've left the weekend open because I don't know how the week's going to unfold. So I might be playing or I might be just hanging out, going to a party. Um, I, I'm just really excited about it. I'm, you know, kidding. Okay further and further south here, so it's it's uh, pretty cool. So just regarding the border, uh, just a few things that I did and prepared for that I think really helped me get over. Um, there's a lot of stories and uh, emails online and blogs and websites that are saying that a lot of people are getting turned down at the border uh, when they go. And I think that's just a big part of it is just preparation. I started looking and researching into this trip about four months ago. And I actually got a letter from the NSAI chapter coordinator in my region, which is Waterloo in London, in Ontario. And I also got a letter from the head of the NSAI evaluation uh, department as well in the States, so having one for both ends, I ended up having to show those at the border, um, just throughout the questions he was asking. Uh, obviously a passport is a, is a must. And then I also, any duty free, uh, usually I let you get a case of beer and a carton of cigarettes, you don't have to pay duty on, which is what I did. And it's really, really cheap. And it was like 70 bucks for both, which is crazy. And, you know, other than that, they're just asking me what's in the van. And it's a good idea. The one thing I didn't do, I would do next time, is actually have a list. Um, just documenting this now. And, you know, for others that might want to come down, is to have a list of everything that you have and you take down. Because he asked me that. And I, I said, I kind of stumbled over at a bit and said, ah, you know, I've got clothes and I've got my laptop and, you know, basic necessities to get me through the week and but you know so he that's when he actually opened the van and, and had a look inside and so I think you know having a have an actual list to hand to them too might be handy but I think the most important thing and is to actually turn your radio off take off your sunglasses and look them in the eye and just just be yourself all right that's enough rambling for now I will uh, be back later Hey folks, here I am. Uh, I got the hotel room, got a good deal. I'm in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. 
and uh, pretty good actually for the price like 60 bucks and I got all of that so I am going to have a couple of drinks and then I am going to bed and then I'm up in the morning going to Johnny Cash's grave I'm really excited about that it's going to be awesome say a few words to the man in black anyway that's all for tonight and uh Hey folks, here I am at uh, Bread and Company. Just got my first meeting with uh, Eddie Schwartz, and um, just going to talk with him about uh, songwriting in the week and you know what to go and do and that sort of thing. It's right across from the Bluebird Cafe, so that's exciting. Anyway, um, I'll check back in later. Let you know how it goes. Number eleven, Katie Bledsoe. No, Number twelve, Sean G. Number 15, Jessica. That's my daughter and son-in-law. Corey Mack? No, no. They play in um, San Antonio, Corpus Christi. We're just up here on vacation. But they've got a... Right on. So where are we at? This is Jason, by the way. Say hi, Jay. What's up? Where are you from? I'm from Burlington, North Carolina. I just moved out here about... What did I say earlier? About a month or something like that. So where are we at? We are at... Friner's Alley, downtown Nashville. It's about two blocks off of Broadway. Um, it's fantastic blues we're here. Sorry, man. It's okay, man. So what's uh, going on tonight? We got a blues jam. Blues cool. jam. Jam blues. Right on. Y'all found it. Boys, found it. name. Hey, we parked like 73 miles away, but we got here. Name and occupation. Uh, Jason Gold. Not telling you where I work. Where you, I'm a, where are you from? May or may not be Walmart. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Pennsylvania. Cool. And what are we doing here tonight? Well, uh, no, I, we wanted to do Bluebird I Cafe. We wanted to do some open mic nights with the boys here we just met. But we got the stamp. We'll be back. We'll be back. So today we're going to some grub. Check out the old blues bar. There is a blues jam tonight. I just signed up. You signed up for the blues jam? Yeah, dude. Name, occupation? Uh, Doug and uh, Superstar. Superstar. Where are you from? Connecticut. And uh, if you do get a chance to go up on stage tonight, are you going to play some of that kick-ass guitar shit that you were throwing down earlier? Yes, sir. Right on, brother. <laughs> building in Nashville. Just got a mentoring session with uh, R.C. Bannon. I had a uh, writer's room. I actually got writer's rooms booked all week and I'm doing some songwriting for the last few hours. Uh, an amazing night last night, um, but I'm going to be late for my appointment, so i got to get in there, but I will check back in and tell you about last night, which was wicked. Okay, bye. Just had a meeting with R.C. Bannon about my songs, and he basically told me I need to move down here, which is outstanding. Um, I immediately got a meeting with Ralph Murphy, who's the head of Ace Gap, which is just turning around here, standing across from Sony Music Publishing. And then uh, it's the white building just right down there. And that's where I'm headed. I'm going to go talk to Ralph Murphy about the same thing. 
writing songs. All right, check back in later. Hey folks, it's uh, day three in Nashville. I just had a meeting with Ralph Murphy, the great uh, Ralph Murphy from Ace ASCAP, as they say down here. I say ASCAP, now it's ASCAP. Just starting to learn the lingo, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, really positive. I can't believe how big and beautiful the building was. It's alliteration for you, in case you were following along. Anyway, Ralph uh, didn't pull any punches whatsoever. In fact, more than anyone else, and um, really picked apart my songs, especially lyrically, and uh, mostly just small, minute things, and eliminating some words, too many syllables here, you know, that kind of thing, but, you know, for the most part, you know, a couple songs he liked, and a couple he said probably wouldn't work for country, but TV and film, and, uh, you know, dance songs, that kind of thing, And uh, but he, he also thinks that, um, you know, if I've got the passion for it, that I should move down here too. And uh, so I'm really getting a, a great sense of the, the city and, you know, a great sense of this community. And everybody's so friendly. The food is so cheap down here. I couldn't believe it, man. You know, all the food that I just bought is probably about $250 worth in, in Canada. And I just got it for about 70 bucks. So amazing. Same thing with beer, you know, beer and liquor. It's really cheap here, too. And uh, amazing. Um, I'm heading back right now. I, I, to go cook some dinner and I'm signed up for an open mic tonight at uh, Douglas Corner. Hey folks, here I am at uh, Douglas Corner Cafe. It's one of the uh, premier songwriter uh, venues in Nashville. And I'm um, signed up to do uh, two songs tonight in the Writer's Circle, uh, which is in the middle of the room, which is really cool. I've never seen anything like that before. And, and uh, I'm really excited about uh, playing. Uh, you know, I'll check back in tomorrow, but uh, you know, good time so far. And uh, you know, definitely recommend uh, anybody who wants to make the trip down as a songwriter to this uh, beautiful music town. It's like coming home.
Then one Sunday after church when our family went out to eat, I couldn't understand why Daddy wouldn't let the lady come along with me. He said, son, don't you know that this wouldn't be right? That was my first picture of the blues in black and white.
Hey folks, Robbie Hancock here. I am uh, just heading down to the NSAI building uh, for a pitch to publisher as an independent uh, music publisher uh, pitching meeting happening so I get to pitch one song. And uh, it's usually about 40 people that get to pitch. Um, and then tonight I'm heading over to a place called the Commodore in which I played last night, which had some major number one hit writers that played last night. It was so fantastic. So I'm going back again tonight because uh, one of the songwriters I met here is playing there tonight. Actually, he's booked in. So um, I'm going to go check that out. And uh, just having it a wicked time. And um, I've only got a few more days left here in Nashville. And my schedule's kind of opened up now. Um, so, yeah, I'll check back in later and uh, kind of talk about uh, the weekend, what's, what's going on for the weekend. And... Um, yeah, it's been an amazing trip. Um, you know, recommend it to any songwriter that's really serious about um, honing their craft and actually getting their music out there into actual, you know, proper in uh, independent and uh, major music in industry professionals. I think it's uh, it's just a blast. And if I'm not showing my excitement, that's only because I'm driving right now and I shouldn't be doing this. But uh, honestly. What an amazing city this is. Everybody songwrites, everybody plays guitar, everybody is just so nice down here. I, and everything I heard about this place is, is true and even beyond. I mean, I can't even explain how much uh, fun I've had since I got here on Monday. And, you know, I met some amazing people and writers and co writing, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on. So, anyway, off to the meeting. Check back in later. Hey folks, here I am right outside the NSAI building and uh, just about to uh, pitch one of my songs to a publisher for the first time. And um, it's uh, pretty excited and uh, looking forward to the whole experience. There's about 40 of us, everybody gets one song. So I'm pitching uh, one of my songs called It's Never Too Late. I'll check back in later. It's one of the craziest lightning and storms just, I've ever seen. Nashville Hogan Storm. Hogan yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now, it's a little beyond like a little before our time, but yeah. if you had an older brother or a family into it, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! But yeah, I'm a big fan of Red Man. Sunglasses. Yeah. That, that was crazy. That was a tree break. Oh, okay, nice. Um, I was a little warrior. That yeah. was insane. Yeah. I've never heard I've lightning never like heard that. Thunder, thunder, thunder like that. that in my life. We had the we, we ended up getting the wrestling ring. That was insane. Me too. Yeah, we had the ring and the ropes and everything. Now I feel the wind coming. Uh, million dollar man. Here it comes. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, all the characters. Remember that one the one move? Yeah. 
That's you, you look fast, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And Hulk Hogan was this. So yeah. Yeah. The Warriors you were, was this. <laughs> yeah. You, Hi, Danny. You would balance them up so that they would do their move. Scared, honey. Yeah. I'm and then, scared. so the last, the last <laughs> round too, before boys, I got boys. out of wrestling was Stone Cold. That's Steve a pretty Austin. loud yeah, I wasn't ass that thunder. Right. Yeah, oh, that's literally. Yeah. I grew up in and Alberta, this stuff, and this right? is yeah. actually yeah. My mother the craziest. Oh, okay, so I've that was the last seen. of it for me. The and loudest then after that I got out of it. But man, the golden era on Bam Bam Bigelow. We got me to protect you, baby. Yeah, you have Nintendo game too. Thanks. Super NES. Yes. I had Monday Night Raw. I had WrestleMania it's Arcade. Thunder right. Row. And the lightning strikes. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Name and occupation. <laughs> you already know my occupation. I'm a little embarrassed to say it. Leroy Brown. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Young it. lady, name and occupation. My name is Danny Jean, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Where are you from? I'm from Alberta, but I now live in Toronto. And how do you like Nashville? I love it. Great, it's my first time here, and um, it's been very inspiring and awesome. I suggest any musician or artist, songwriter, anything, come visit Nashville, and you'll be definitely inspired. There's a lot of things to do here during the week, um, especially for Canadians coming down here. Are, are there anything to stand out uh, as some of your favorite moments this week? Definitely last night, the Wooten Brothers. Go check them out because honestly, that's the best Motown music I've ever seen in my life. It was honestly. So inspiring seeing those guys, like two of the guys playing the Steve Miller band, and they also, I think a couple of them, I think a couple of them sang. One of the guys was a background singer. For background Aretha singer for Aretha Franklin, like it, on the records too. Yeah, so like on the just album. In, yeah, insane, insane, uh, amazing insane band, musician. gospel drummer, just amazing. Just amazing. And the, yeah. Thank you, Danny. Yeah. yeah. Name and occupation. Brian Seligman. I'm a guitar player. Where are you from? London, Ontario. All right. Canada. All right. But I've been in Toronto for 10 years now. How are you enjoying your week? I love it here. I love it so much that I'm moving here. When are you moving here? Uh, September, so just a couple weeks. As soon as you get a damn apartment. <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> Where are you going to live? Um, hopefully in Hillsborough. Hillsborough? Yeah. Right by, right by Vanderbilt. I live in... All right. Thanks, Brian. Oh, nice. Signing off now. Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> Rock on. All right, folks, here I am at the uh, Grand Old Opry House, and uh, just going to go and check out what's inside. Uh, certainly uh, some amazing country music legends have been here, and uh, check back in in a second. Just wanted to get the guitar shot in the back. All right. Anybody have any questions at this point? No questions? Hey folks, here I am at the SoCan house. It's the Nashville house, um, put together by SoCan uh, PRO in Canada, and it's a, uh, a free stay. You just got to apply for it, and um, you can stay for a week or two weeks, and uh, that's where I've been staying all week. Um, and the house is owned by uh, Daryl Burgess, Burgess, who is a um, great Canadian songwriter. He's got Golden Platinum Records with uh, Colin James. Um, just amazing. Um, you know, the people I've met down here, everybody plays, everybody seems to know somebody that plays guitar. Anyway, um, just want to kind of show you the, uh, the rooms and uh, the apartments and, and kind of show you where you would be staying down here if you come down. Let's check it out. All right, so this is uh, SoCan House, just kind of parked down the back, and there's a... Uh, B apartment and there's an A apartment which is where I'm staying and a couple of Canadian songwriters staying next door in a nice little area to kind of write songs out out back it's pretty peaceful and quiet here just gonna kind of show you the apartment where I'm staying in the bathroom this one's got a kitchen. You go check that out. This is a pretty cool setup. Nice place. Very comfortable to kind of stay in while you're down here in your meetings and writing and everything else. And um, it's all in one room, secret couches and TV, of course, 
and then your bed. And bathroom. Just a beautiful thing. Definitely recommend uh, contact. If you're interested in coming down, just contact SoCan and um, just type in the Nashville house and it'll all come up. And you can apply for it there. That's it folks, just heading out of Nashville now, what an amazing week. Um, to top it all off, I just ran into Ted Danson, of all people. Um, I almost actually ran over Keith Urban this week too, so, you know, the stars are all around and, you know, people don't freak out about it, they just let them do what they do, you know, and that's the thing down here and that's why I think a lot of the stars feel so comfortable. Um, although I was screaming like a little girl, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually not doing that. Anyway, um, I um, I can't believe the things that I got accomplished this weekend. I was able to play every single night except Friday, and um, that's only because I was just too exhausted on Friday to go anywhere. So I ended up co-writing. Um, ended up co-writing with four different people in four different songs this week with people that I met. Just overall, amazing week, and I, you know, I, anybody that's really serious about songwriting and improving their craft and actually getting out there in the, in the business, I definitely recommend coming down to the Socan House and checking out Nashville. Uh, it's such such an amazing time. I even went to the Grand Ole Opry, did a little bit of tourist stuff yesterday, got my picture taken on stage there. Anyway, that's it for now, and uh, looking forward to shooting the next documentary. Um, my name is Robbie Hancock and this is Songumentary Volume 2.